<laughs> I'm Alex, and I'm sure you heard me throw around the Manic Mom of Three. Um, if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, that's really me. Every single letter in that phrase embodies who I am. Uh, my business completely changed two years ago when I said, I'm not the perfect mom. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm failing. God gave me these babies. I mean, he trusts me. And I just started taking on this identity of being the man of mom of three. And I started sharing my failures. I started sharing that I, I didn't know that I had to put his thing down when I put the diaper on because, you know, like it. <laughs> and, and listen, like these are real life things that I'm sure many of you have experienced. You know, like just the other day I did a live video. It was fruit salad day in my kids' class. And I picked grapes because I figured I could just pick them off the vine and give them grapes. I got attacked. They're a choking hazard, Alex. You have to cut them. See, and most people would be like embarrassed, delete, delete, delete. No, I go live and I'm like, all right, well, one of you people told me how to cut these grapes in half. And if it doesn't work and a kid chokes, I'm blaming you. So I went live. It had so many views on it. I was just cutting grapes and I was being me. And there's so many rap people in this world. There's so many MLMs in this world. And all you have to do is be you to stand out, mm -hmm. you know? And, and this comes with signing customers, like, you know, they want accountability, well, they vibe with you. This specifically holds true when you're signing distributors. Mm -hmm. I enroll, I enroll, I enroll. If you saw my team, they're like little minions of me. They all shop at Target. We have no Walmart shoppers on my team. <laughs> <laughs> they know that I like Target. And it's, but it's the truth. And you know, you guys, you share your story once and you're like, well, I already shared that. I can't share it again. No, keep sharing, mm -hmm. keep sharing, keep over sharing. Guys, I think I got like 400 likes when my son finally wiped his butt by himself. Like, but, but this is me, okay? And I share the good, I share the bad, I share the really bad. And once you get real and genuinely figure out who you are mm -hmm. is when you're gonna explode, when you're honest. Like for two years, I sat at Ruby because I was trying to fake it. You know, I was trying to fake being a good mom and you know, I went to JC Penny and I got my Christmas card guys. Like <laughs> I had to overdraw my credit card to get that stupid ugly card with the fake sand. Like you gotta get real with who you are. So I'm sure I'm running short on time. Just one quick tip, make a list right now. Five things you love, five things you hate, and just talk about them. It will attract your tribe. I love Target. I love my kids. I love this business. I love carbs, everything bagels with vegetable cream cheese. And guys, like people, if you see a Target ma'am, they're blowing up my inbox. I am having conversations. Melissa sent me a shirt in the mail. And like that makes me feel like, I, like I'm touching someone, okay? So if it's tiny cups, share about your tiny cups. Like whatever your thing is. Share about five things you hate. I. I'm sorry, I don't like the judgmental moms that it all needs to be organic. My kid ate dirt, he didn't die. Today was a good day. You know, like, they don't get more organic than that. I hate being broke. I hate it. I go live, I talk about the coldest day in February. We had no heat. I had to bundle my kids up and I took them to Target to get warm. So, even the things that you dislike. I hate those mom groups. I blow them up all day long on my page. And I guess that's it. Oh, and I love wine. I love wine. So when I was doing my grape video, I'm like, I'm just gonna squish them and we'll make wine. So <laughs> you guys know that about me. And that attracts what you want to work side by side with, what you want to run with. It doesn't feel like a job, it's a family. And that's attracted me a family that took me to Double Diamond. So. That's me, Mac Brown. Great. Love you all. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Rachel. You know me right now. Um, 
So I'm in the process of developing my branding. And um, I overthink it. Nope, is that what I was called? <laughs> <laughs> I also create my own English language. So, uh, anyway, so I, I'm coming from a place that I'm just figuring it out and now I'm running with it. So uh, my eyebrows are always on fleek, right? Yeah. Yes. Everybody's always complimenting me. I'm checking in when I'm getting my eyebrows done, right? Like, and then again, if there's a meme, people are like, oh my God, Rachel, like this is you. Um, everyone knows that I'm the Costco girl. I am literally working this business so that I can fund my habit because Costco is out of control. So that's again, like when you're involving people and like you're engaging, like how many people can walk out of Costco with just one product, like one, one thing? It's not, it's impossible. So people know that and they're like every time that they're in Costco or if they see a deal or like they think of, oh, Rachel, Costco. Oh my God, she's going to want this air fryer for $15. Like, you know, like they, they know that. So um, my family is a very big part of my branding right now. Um, so in the beginning of the business, I was in, I was by myself, right? Like just doing lives by myself. Then I got my husband involved, right? Then I stopped getting him involved, and no one cared, and no one wanted to watch me. Then I started incorporating him again because he's the cheese guy. Everybody knows he sells cheese, and he's always, like, putting puns in my videos. He's always being him, okay? He brings so much viewers, like, and I get messages all the time about, Rachel, you have to go live with your husband again. He is hysterical. I'm like, hi, I, you know, I married him. Like, it's still me. So, like, I realize, like, that's what works. So, when I go live, I involve him. If I'm doing a giveaway, he's the one picking the name. When I'm rapping, he's re-rapping me and passing a lot of inappropriate comments. Like, that is my husband. But everyone loves it. So, it's a matter of finding out what works what comes natural to you? Like I was overthinking it so much that I would end up not even posting because I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? But this one did this. And I always compared myself to this one because she's manic mom of three. And I'm like, and I didn't want to like take her vibe like because I'm, my life is insane with these two children. And, but then I found what worked. Like I found what was working for me, for the hand fam. Like my last name is hand. Okay. Um, so many hashtags can go with that. Like my hands for life. Like that everybody like thinks of me, you know, with, with that. Like my other hashtag was embrace the chaos because my life is chaotic. I mean, uh, my kids are, he's going to be sick next week. Um, and a three-year-old. Everyone knows Devin is my angel child that praises Jesus all the time. And everyone else knows that Christian is Christian. And he is my test and he's the sweetest most beautiful little boy with beautiful eyes that again I'm throwing my kids out there because you know and and that's it like through this business and 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 just marketing yourself like with your family like just being genuine like that is like really the key if you are not being true to who you are you're gonna be stuck you're gonna be stuck and you don't want that it's a sucky feeling. It really is. Like I was there for so long and I just didn't know what to do and, and reaching out to other people and like saying, Hey, how did you get to this? Like, but how did you accept this? And it's just a matter of just making a decision and just going like, you just have to be genuine to who you are. Don't overthink it. Embrace the insanity because your stories are going to inspire. I mean, when I randomly share my weight loss, people are like, thank you for the inspiration. They're not even customers yet, but like they're, that that's what we want to do. That's the purpose. That's what we need to be using our stories for. We went through it so that we can help others. That's why we were chosen to go through those situations. So just be open and, and pray about it. Like, you know, people know now, like I had a miscarriage. Um, that's what why I even joined this business. Um, everyone knows that my husband's a cheese guy. Everyone knows that Devin's in baseball. I'm always going live, even though he hasn't hit the ball like once this season. Like, it's just like, but everybody knows, right? Like, oh God. So yeah, so, okay, that's it. Just be genuine, just be who you are and find what works for you. Awesome. So who here has looked at the social media guidebook? It's 
in your document section. All right, so write this down. Everybody who doesn't have their hand raised. We have such great tools, guys, that really just help you figure out your brand. And the first thing is they're gonna talk about the five pillars. And the five pillars are figuring out who you are. Because you can't brand yourself if you don't know who you are. And, and I love how the, the, the gals just shared that really the only person who you should be showing who you are on social media is you. And so social media is a great tool, but it's also a place where we could possibly get a little bit sidetracked. You know, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so if you're looking at what Chris is doing and saying, well, I need to do that, like you are not gonna attract your tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. So the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you guys do is just go through the guidebook and just go through it. And just kind of see for a month. If you do the things they teach you to do, if it's gonna make a difference. Now for me, I don't know, you know who here hasn't heard my story before, but I have absolutely had the, the keto coffee change my life. Has, who here has had keto coffee or any other product in the company change your life? So the first question I'm gonna ask you is how often are you sharing your story about how these products or a single product has changed your life? Who here is doing it once a week? Raise your hand. Who here is doing it once a day? Raise your hand. Okay, so that's something you guys wanna look at. Every day you should be sharing your story in some way. Because your struggle that these products helped you with is going to be the story that's going to be something that helps somebody else. Like we are in the helping business. You know, God created this company for us to help others. And so every day our goal should be how can we share our story to help somebody else who has the struggle? God brings us through the struggle, right? The test to create the testimony. How often are we sharing our testimony? So for me, real quickly, I was sick with something that totally shook my world, didn't know what was going on. I found myself in ER having a seizure. It took seven months, guys, to diagnose. And along the way, um, keto was knocking me down and saying, you need to go on a keto diet, you gotta go on a keto diet. So at the very end of my diagnosis of viral encephalitis, I went to conference in um, February of 2016 and within 14 days had my first seizure. And it took me seven months to be diagnosed with viral encephalitis. And what that is, is a virus, could have been a mosquito bite I had when I was sitting out there having fun, attacked my brain, swelling, and then I started having seizures. But along with that came cognitive decline. I had a little bit of mild dementia. I had processing delay. I couldn't even speak well. It put me into depression. I had lots of anxiety. Lots of things happened in my, in my life. And um, my neurologist said that you will recover, you may have some issues that just kind of stay residually from where the virus attacked your brain. You may have a little brain damage. And I was 48 years old and I just wasn't okay with that. So I was researching and researching and researching. God just kept bringing, just like for four months, he kept bringing it works and I wasn't listening. He kept bringing keto to me. So for me, when keto coffee came into our line, now I'm like, okay, I gotta learn about this because how could I share if I don't try it? I went full therapeutic keto October of 2017 and within six months my cognitive decline started improving and so I know God used keto to heal me I feel better than I did before I got sick I've you know I had weight gain from being sick all that weight came off I have unbelievable energy and so my story of keto is my brand so I got into a, you know, I, I created a, a keto page and I, my, my goal every single day is to add value to people out there that might be struggling with other things. So, you know, my, my, my question to you guys is, what product have you used in our, in our line that has changed your life? And you need to be loud and proud about it and you need to be adding value to it and, and do not believe when the enemy says to you, you can't keep sharing that story because people heard you already and they're just gonna be sick and tired of hearing it because somebody didn't hear it, mm -hmm. you know, and somebody needs to hear it. And so whatever products have changed your life is gonna help also change your business. So I, I absolutely love, I think it was Joel Dunn at one of the green carpets said, if the products aren't changing your life, chances are the business isn't either because your passion is not attached to it and you're selling instead of sharing. So, that, so that's all I got. Awesome.